welcome back to Green Pro. Today we're going through the latest of our newest developments, which is the new Generate Proposal Pack section. As you can see, if you've not logged in for a while, then this also might be new to you, which is our new contract, interactive contract builder. And we do have a video on our YouTube channel to go through that. Um, but today we're going to go through the Generate Proposal Pack. Now, if you're familiar with the system, then you might remember that there used to be a green button over here, which said the same thing and did the same thing. There would be tick boxes down the left hand side of all the documents that you wanted to include in the generation and what it would do it would zip all those files together into one folder and it would live in this file section here where you would be able to share a download link with whoever you wanted to share it with so we've slightly changed the way that we do this and now the generate proposal pack button is up here and as you can see it's very large along with the contract one so we'll click on this one first and you get two options first option is the new way of doing it which is a pdf merger similar to the interactive contracts where you can merge several pdfs together and then zip that along with some other supporting documents or you can zip only which is the way that you used to be able to do it which is just selecting which documents you want to zip and they will collate into one folder which you're able to share so we'll go through the merge and zip first now, this is to merge PDFs together. So as you can see, my covering letter is a Word document, StockX, so I cannot use that. I can't merge it. You can merge it if you want to save any Word documents as PDF first, then you'll be able to merge them all into one. But this is just going through how to merge several PDFs together. So I'm going to select my contract of sale, my proposal that I've pulled through from Toolkit, and my consumer code leaflet from the document bank. You can name this, so I'm just going to say merge test, and then you go through to next, and then you get through to your supporting documents. So these won't merge into one document, but they will form part of the folder of all of the documents that you're going to share. So because this was not a PDF, I am going to make sure that I select this as a supporting document because it is a Word document. You can do that with any documents that you have saved in these categories. You can either save them as PDF first to be able to merge them as one, or you can just leave them as they are in whatever file, if it's imagery, if it's um, Word documents, if it's Excel, and then just use those as supporting documents. And as ever, you can take from your computer, from your document bank or from Toolkit if you have that linked. So on the next stage, what we do here is we take all the PDFs we're going to merge and we put them in the order that we want them. So at the moment, they're getting pulled through in the order that we preset in the previous stage, which is the document categories that you have in projects. So for example, I probably would like to have my proposal first, then my contract of sale, and then ending it with a consumer code leaflet at the end. Um, but you basically, you just pick and drag and drop these in whatever order you like. So I'll put it back up to what I wanted it to be. So that's going to be the order of your merged PDF, which is going to end up being one file. And then whatever non-PDF documents you've chosen to include in the in the zip file will sit underneath it. You can't reorder those. They'll just go in the list of documents within the folder after it's zipped. So I've got my three PDFs, which will turn into one and then one Word document. So the final file will have two documents in it which is this merge PDF and the covering letter. So if we just go and click create on that, what that's doing is merging those three PDFs into one and then creating the zip file. And then once it's completed, you'll get the little notification in the top right to say it's been it's been sorted and it will take you through to files and that's where it will live. So you'll be able to download it and you'll be able to download the new merged um, PDF and the Word document, or you can just create the share link um, as you have been doing previously. So you can do that across all sections, which is proposal, in-house and handover. This button here has remained the same, which is generate complete project pack. Now be aware um, that this will zip together any documents that you have marked as complete in the previous stages and that includes anything in the in-house section which means your purchase orders your delivery notes your risk assessments um complaint forms things like that so anything that you might not want the customer to see don't mark those as complete if you want to generate handover and proposal at the same time so just be aware that if you're sending this to a customer, then you might want to do these individually. So do your proposal pack and your handover pack individually rather than doing the whole complete project pack, because it might include documents that you don't actually want to share or that the customer doesn't need to see. Um, so it's basically exactly the same as it was, but with just a few added features so that you're able to, if you wanted to, for example, have a full handover pack of just one merged PDF of all the documents you think the customer is going to need, plus anything supporting um, that you don't want to save into a PDF. Um, check out our YouTube for more videos about how to use the various functions of projects and toolkit. If you have any questions or any feedback ideas, then just let us know.